Make known his deeds among the people. Sing to him, sing praises to him. Tell of all his wonderful works. Glory in his holy name. Let the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice. Seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his presence continually. Remember the wonderful works he has done, his miracles and the judgments he uttered. O offspring of his servant Abraham, children of Jacob, his chosen ones. He is the Lord our God, his judgments are in all the earth. He is mindful in his covenant forever of the word that he commanded for a thousand generations. The covenant that he made with Abraham, his sworn promise to Isaac, which he confirmed to Jacob as a statue, to Israel as an everlasting covenant, saying, To you I will give the land of Canaan as your portion for an inheritance. When they were few in number of little account, and strangers in it, wandering from nation to nation, from one kingdom to another people, he allowed no one to oppress them. He rebuked the kings on their account, saying, Do not touch my anointed ones, do my profess no harm. When the cement mine against the land, and broke every staff of bread, he had sent a man ahead of them, Joseph, who was sold as a slave. His feet were sold with fetters, his neck was put in a collar of iron. Until what he had said came to pass, the word of the Lord kept testing him. The king sent and released him. The ruler of the peoples set him free. He made him lord of his house and ruler of all his possessions. To instruct his officials at his pleasure and to teach his elders wisdom. Then Israel came to Egypt, Jacob knew as an alien in the land of Ham. And the Lord made his people very fruitful and made them stronger than their foes. Whose hurts he then turned to hate his people to deal craftily with his servants. He sent his servant Moses and Aaron, whom he had chosen. They performed his signs among them and miracles in the land of Ham. He sent darkness and made the land dark. They rebelled against his words. He turned their waters into blood and caused their fish to die. Their land swarmed with frogs even in the chambers of their kings. He spoke and there grew swarms of flies and gnats throughout their country. He gave them hail for rain and lightning that flashed through their land. He struck their vines and fig trees and shattered the trees of their country. He spoke and the locusts came and young locusts without number. He devoured all the vegetation in their land and ate up the fruit of their ground. He struck down all the firstborn in their land, the first issue of all their strength. Then he brought Israel out with silver and gold, and there was no one among their tribes who stumbled. Egypt was glad when they departed, for dread of them had fallen upon it. He spread a cloud for a covering, and a fire to give light by night. They asked, and he brought quails, and gave them food from heaven in abundance. He opened the rock, and water gushed out. It flowed through the desert like a river. For he remembered his holy promise, and Abraham his servant. So he brought his people out with joy, his chosen ones with singing. He gave them the lands of the nations, and they took possessions of the wealth of the peoples that they may keep his statutes and observe his laws. Praise the Lord!